Hello again. I wanted to show you something that shows that most people are not actually analyzing anything <clears throat> related to this. I've heard many people say, yeah, women don't reason logically and men do it. It's all nonsense. Women and men both do not reason logically. Almost nobody does. I mean, there are a few, but very few. And how it really works is very different. And it's only apparent that... So not real, but it appears to be as if men uh, reason logically. What, what I want to show you here is an example of a problem, namely, this guy is an economist, and about economy, economists and the yeah, study of e economy. I'm very critical, for example, uh, the guys who created all this mess are American economists um, in the early 1990s who advised Russia on how to proceed to become um, yeah, a, 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 a democ not a democracy, but the financial system to have it uh, just like in the West. And they made a really stupid, stupid suggestions. Milton Friedman and his followers, complete idiots those people are. In any case, this is an economist. What does he say about Putin? The mafia boss. So the moment he arrived at the Kremlin, he started building his uh, Gelenjik palace, his black sea palace. So we know that he started all these schemes right away. So he is not an imperial uh, imperial built, imp empire builder. He is more of a palace builder. Right? And no, that's wrong. Um, what actually happens is that all people, and I wrote a page here about it, Sergei Gudiev doesn't understand Putin. He analyzes the world with economic thinking. So he, th he, he thinks in terms of money and that's how he analyzes things. And you can't do that with people. Uh, they don't work in one way. They work in different various ways in various portions. So a lot econom economic issues are a lot very important to some people, very unimportant to other people. So I made a comment with that video and I... Quoted uh, place these here as well. Um, wait a minute, where's the video? This one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you can see the, the comments that I made. So, I, I, this is the summary that I wrote. Guriev doesn't understand Putin at all. He only thinks in terms of money because he's an economist who sees the world as he thinks about the world, as he's not a truth seeker. The timetable of events shows that his assertions about why Putin invaded Crimea and Ukraine are wrong. It's not about protecting palaces and only to some degree about an image to the internal audience. Um, so here I made a longer comment, but um, I will go back first to this page. So he's, he says he started building palaces, which shows he's not an empire builder. This is wrong because all criminals start wrong. It, effectively, not, not just all criminals, everyone, if you're worried about something how you're seen in a community for example then you don't begin with something big you start with something small uh, if you're if you're small in school and you're you're insecure you don't start talking about things you want to do for example what you want to achieve because you might feel you get ridiculed or if you don't achieve them what then you feel stupid but if you're self-aware you think you think then you will, will not care about all such things and that usually only happens with with age. So you become older, then you experience things, and you become more what you really are. Or you show more what you really are. Um, you become more... Um, you see more what you can do, what you can get away with. That is what happens with criminals. So they begin with something small. They don't begin with something with a huge high, million dollar heist of jewels or something. They begin with something small, like like um, breaking into a car, breaking into a house. Um, let's see. So, um, the major issue to deal with for Putin in the early 2000s was corruption and power struggles. Only once that is resolved can you start to think about doing something more. However, that was already going on in his mind. And you can see that in a speech he made in 2007, about the demise of the Soviet Union being a great uh, disaster. You can see it in his behavior towards NATO and acceptance into that organization. He wanted to be a special. Others were not important. Other countries were not important. He and Rush should be considered special, similar to the superpower in the Cold War era. And there's this article which shows this 
from The Guardian. Uh, George Robertson says the Labour peer recalled an ear early meeting with Putin who became Russian president in 2000. Putin said, when are you going to invite us to join NATO? Robertson said, we don't invite people to join NATO. They apply to join NATO. He said, well, we're not standing in line with a lot of countries that don't matter. That shows you his personality right there. That's early 2000s. It's already already there at the start. And you can see that also in other people. So Bill Browder, for example, says uh, says similar things. It was already there at the start his problem it is not it's not a guy who, who wants to protect his palaces and it's not true that um he doesn't care about an empire that was already there in 2007 the problems only started in 2008 and then he started to do things that, uh, to address the uh, internal audience with issues such as for example this the russia being under attack from various people in, in whatever way ideology ideological or financial whatever all the arguments he gives are wrong because of the timeline it's fake I mean, you, you, he doesn't understand Putin, but he doesn't understand all the circumstances. It's weird because he's a Russian. Okay, that's, that's this video. Next one will be overview of what has been happening in Ukraine with my predictions. Uh, so that's the next one. Bye.